just barely above sea level, the Chignecto Isthmus is all that keeps Nova Scotia from being an island, and the centuries-old dikes that hold back the ocean tides are in bad shape. The town of Amherst is on this low-lying strip of land, and it's here that MLAs, mayors, and others came together this week to strategize. It's a huge issue, and it's so vitally important to the town of Amherst because we're in the flood zone. Experts say this area could be devastated by flooding before the end of the century unless something is done to protect it. If a major storm hits when the tides are high, the dikes could breach. Local politicians say the provinces and Ottawa are wasting time. This has been dragging on for so long and government after government, I'd say provincially and federally, have just let us be in this situation where our constituents' lives and property are at risk. Yeah, the people that I represent are not happy at all with the government's approach. Uh, people want shovels in the ground yesterday. Uh, the, the, the idea that it's going to be another 10 years and the continued delays is not acceptable. There's no construction happening yet, but the government of Nova Scotia says there is work underway. Staff are studying the environment and coming up with a design plan to protect the isthmus. The latest cost estimate is $650 million. Uh, we need the higher levels of government to work out who will pay how much to get this project underway. The provinces want Ottawa to pay. Ottawa only wants to cover half the cost. That debate is now before Nova Scotia's highest court. This New Brunswick senator thinks a bill he introduced could help move things forward. There's been lots of discussion over many, many years, but it didn't seem to be getting the exposure that it needed to get. His bill would push the work into federal jurisdiction. It passed through the Senate this spring, but there's no guarantee it will make any progress in the House of Commons. Meanwhile, the people living on the Chignecto Isthmus can only hope the work gets done before the perfect storm. Taryn Grant, CBC News, Amherst.